Hey guys, this is Curly Rosie, and you are watching Curly Hair Tips for the Curly Filipina. I'm here to announce that I made another Instagram account for my curly Filipinos out there who are trying to get in touch with me to ask about their own curly hairs. Yep, inuulit ko po sa mga Pilipina na merong kulot na po, meron na po ako Instagram dedicated para sa inyo lamang at para makita ninyo ko ano yung buho ko on a daily basis or if not, pag may event or kapag may tanong po talaga kayo para po talaga sa inyo itong page na ito so I can help you guys with maintaining your healthy curly hair. Ganon! So yeah, follow me. It's Curly Rosie. Curly Rosie. That's me. I also have the link on the description box below. And right now, I'm going to shout out to It's Curly Bea on Instagram because she asked me Ask ko lang po kasi sa may pandang roots ng hair ko, hindi po masyadong curly. Ano po ba ang dapat pong gawin? Hi Bea! I have the same problem. Meron ako dito hair. I encountered that before and I think this is the one. Yeah, this one. Grew straight. Um, this hair strand kasi Dati, nung medyo bulbul yung hair ko, sobrang nag-dry sa habang bulbul. Alam mo yung parang sa mga aso, pag medyo furry yung hair ng aso, ganun. So, nag-ganun siya. So, I had to like really cut it short. Parang nag-ano ako, nag-shave ako ganun. So, when it grew out, naging iba siya from the rest. So, ayun nga, medyo straight nga siya. Pag natural ha, iba pa yung usapan natin kapag kaya nagkaling kang ribbon. Ito, what I do is, every time sa aking curly hair routine, syempre, nag-hair scrunching ako. So, hindi siya nakakaligtas. Scrunch ko siya lagi para maging springy din yung curls niya at para makaisa siya sa iba kong mga buhok dyan. Yun lang yung tip ko. I think you should focus your scrunching in that area as well para lang maging balance with the other groups of hair dyan. Kung galing ka sa rebound, kailangan pahabain mo muna siya ulit. Just so na para mag-grow out naturally yung curly hair mo. Tapos wait for it na pwede mo siyang magupitan. Yung helper namin before came from bonded hair. And I also had a makeover for her. It's on my playlist. It's a Christmas makeover for our helper, si Ate Ding. Ibonded din yung hair niya so parang straight up. Uh, so, curly na yung dito, tapos para straight na yung next half. So, what I did is I did hair scrunching and then merong rollers, scrunching, scrunching, and hair products such as gel and leave-on conditioner. Ganun lang ginawa ko para maging kulot siya pantay sa kanyang roots. So, yeah, you just really have to focus on maintaining your hair curls. To make it springy like this, you have to do hair scrunch a lot and less on combing your hair, brushing your hair. Ako, I've stopped combing my hair for almost six years now. Thank you, Bea, for your message on Instagram and I hope you ask me more about your hair again soon and I hope I get to see your hair type and stuff like that so I can recommend to you what products you can use na available sa market natin na healthy and good for your curly hair. Okay? So, this goes for other curly Filipinas out there so you have to give a shout out to me on my new Instagram page for curly Filipinas. It's Curly Rosie. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Curly Rosie, and you watch Curly Filipina hair tips and tricks, yeah, on my Rapple channel. Honey.